New Netflix movie just came out called The Deliverance. It's of course a horror movie. It depicts a deliverance of a family that got demons into their lives as they moved into a house. The question is, should Christians watch it or should Christians watch horror movies at all? Or even movies at all? And why is Hollywood so obsessed with deliverance and the demonic? Let's dig into this movie today. First of all, a little bit of a disclaimer. Uh, I will try to play a few video clips from the movie you know without volume or whatever just I, I took a piece of the movie and I watched it to see the actual deliverance of course the whole movie leads up to this deliverance but then at the end of the movie there is a deliverance happening and so I'm gonna go through it and and let you know how Hollywood depicts this thing and of course it's extremely exaggerated very scary a lot of scary of course people are dying the demon is you know killing people and all these kind of things but first of all let's give a little bit background. So this movie is a story about a house that is haunted in the city of Gary, Indiana. This story apparently happened in 2011 where a woman called Latoya Ammons moved in with her three children into this new house that was haunted and she started experiencing demonic things happening to her and her children and then they went to a Catholic church where a father, a priest, prayed for them, performed a Catholic exorcism on them, and, and that's it. The story, uh, or the movie, is quite different where they have a woman instead coming as an apostle into the house to minister deliverance. She uses holy water like the Catholics do, so I don't know why they call her apostle. They're, they're obviously just butchering the whole thing of like Catholic practices and then how Protestants do deliverance the word deliverance is a protestant word first of all catholics call it exorcism but she uses holy water and stuff and funny enough the demon is apparently resistant to the name of jesus in the movie and actually ends up killing the the apostle but then this woman herself that is the person you know oppressed by the demons or whatever she kind of uh, come has a coming to christ experience or something in this movie and then kind of casts the demon out of her son, her nine-year-old son, or maybe he's a seven-year-old. And so, first of all, this is absolutely not a Christian movie. This is a Hollywood movie. This is a very scary movie. We know that demons enter through our eyes. Uh, I've delivered people in the past who got demons that entered them by watching horror movies, such as The Exorcist. So these movies, especially for people who know about the spiritual world, but they are not right with Jesus, they are not active in their faith, they're kind of backslidden and stuff like that. This movie targets those kind of people and puts fear in them because they know that there is some truth to it. And now they walk around fearing demons all the time. The purpose of these movies is very clearly to create fear of the supernatural, fear of demons, which we know according to scripture foolishness also there's a lot of there's gore there's a lot of blasphemous remarks in the movie there is a lot of self-harm and killing stealing and destruction just very you know rated r kind of a movie and, and a lot of jump scares the face of the people who are possessed changes turns into you know a, a male voice climbs on the wall all those kind of things that you can expect from a scary movie which as christians we should stay away from if you have something deep, deep inside your heart that makes you desire and want to watch these movies, I suggest that you check yourself and come closer to Jesus because those desires are unhealthy. And if it's really strong desires, maybe you yourself even need deliverance. They claim that this story is inspired by a true story, but I mean, throughout the movie, the demon is more powerful than the Christians, even when they use the name of Jesus, except in the very, very end end where she ministers deliverance and she just says kind of I rebuke you in the, in the name of Jesus Satan I rebuke you in the name of Jesus and suddenly this light comes they're down in the basement middle of the night of course super dingy dark and scary and this light comes down on the demon which is her son uh, who's possessed it has uh, the demon has at that point shape-shifted into her but with like big black eyes and all that kind of scary stuff and so 
and then the light comes down and, and suddenly <laughs> this is hollywood for you man suddenly the woman who is praying right the mother is praying and suddenly she loses control and she gets pushed forward and they mean to indicate that that is when the holy spirit kind of moves into her or like she's taken over by the spirit of god and then she starts praying in tongues and <laughs> you can tell that these hollywood people really try <laughs> to imitate speaking in tongues, but, but they didn't get it. You can tell that this is just someone mumbling and they're just trying to imitate how they think that tongues sound like. So this is actually really interesting. I will try, unless I get copyright, like a copyright strike, I will try to play it for you in just a minute here for you to hear the difference when someone is trying to imitate tongues, but they don't have the Holy Spirit. You can actually tell the difference. So to all the people who say that, oh, they're just mumbling, like there is a difference. The Spirit, the moment that she started praying in tongues in the movie, my, the Spirit of God in me, I immediately testified that this is a counterfeit tongues. And so it's not just mumbling. There is a communication. The spirit within us, the Holy Spirit is, is groaning with sounds without words. So overall, I would say this movie has gotten a lot of bad reviews as well. I think that the interesting thing here, why is Hollywood obsessed with the supernatural and especially deliverance? We have The Exorcist. We have the new Exorcist movie. We have this movie. And then we have like The Nun and all these different ones that all depict deliverance and the fight between good and evil let me tell you what the strategy of hollywood is they want to desensitize their viewers so that those that watch these movies and then they hear and see it in reality will think oh that's just in the movies it's not real it's just in the movies look i saw the movie i know this thing it's not real that's what they do every time it's like they're playing reverse psychology on us citizens where they try to show reality but exaggerate you know the best lie is 99% truth. And so this deliverance, in terms of like the details, of course, these, these deliverances are way more graphic and people are dying and blood and all these kind of and foam and face contorting and all these kind of things, which can happen occasionally, but it's not, that's not the norm when it comes to deliverance, okay? Demons are spiritual entities and they don't generally appear in the flesh. They can, but generally they don't, okay? Uh, there's some interesting things in the movie as well. For example, this youngest kid, seven-year-old kid, I think he is, gets this demon in him and they say that the demon is like the ghost of a dead kid that died there or something like that and so they're all getting mixed up with what it is and all, all that kind of stuff and um, but then as the deliverance is happening on the youngest son the other two other kids one is in the hospital and one is in a psych ward at that time in the movie they start manifesting as well which is interesting because many times demons can operate and go between family members until they're cast out so they kind of got that a little bit there where generational curses and family curses actually bind people into the hand of the same demon i actually had one this last week where two sisters came to church first one manifested first she got set free and then the second one manifested and the sick as the second sister started manifesting the first one started manifesting again even though the demon was cast out of her because there is some generational curse so for that case of those two sisters they both needed to be set free at the same time because there was some kind of a soul tie or generational curse between them and so the demon could kind of jump and it's the same for husband and wife many times where a spiritual wife can torment the husband, but even though the husband is the one with the demon, the demon attacks the wife in her dreams, beating her up in her dreams and stuff. And so we know that demons operate through the family, like bloodlines and soul ties and all those kind of things. So 
in a sense, they got some of that right. Other than that, first of all, demons don't come out because we speak in tongues, okay? So that's the whole deceptive thing that it was when she started speaking in tongues, that's when the real power came. There's nowhere in this. It says that we command, we drive them out by the name of Jesus. That's how demons come out. And then the demon catches fire and then this like, wait, like this uh, shock wave hits the building. All the glasses breaks, but they mean that this is like God moving. And so she's like there and the whole thing is vibrating and the demon catches physical fire and starts burning. And then she's like, I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. And then she cries out, Jesus. And then she gets quiet and then the demon catches fire. And then the demon gets sucked down into a hole in the basement back into the abyss. And it's kind of cool because the moment that he gets sucked down into the back to hell or whatever, you know, she leans over and she says, go back to where you came from. I I like that at least. That's something that sometimes during deliverances I say too. But other than that, I think that it's a very poorly, of course, of course, Hollywood is going to get it wrong. In fact, I think that there's a satanic agenda to intentionally get it wrong, to desensitize people and to trick people into thinking that they understand what, what deliverance is. And so this is a horror movie and I strongly recommend you not to watch this. Horror movies... Many times demons can actually enter people through horror movies. And it's not the way you think. It's the spirit of fear. You get scared of the dark, scared of being alone, scared of all these things. That's the demon that would enter through this movie. Not like, oh, Beelzebub, and he's going to destroy my family. No, it's the spirit of fear many times that enters, okay? And that's how it starts many times with other things coming in, depression and anxiety and so on and so forth. So I encourage you to stay away from this movie. It was a garbage movie honestly and uh, if i'm able to i will play a little clip now but if it's not there that means that i got a copyright strike and i had to remove that part okay okay let's watch this i rebuke you satan in the name of jesus so demon with the black eyes and all the you know looking scary in general because he lives inside me I'm a child of God. When you God, see the smoke. I rebuke you, Satan. Jesus. That's what happened in the beginning when the real apostle came and prayed Don't as well, which the demon later killed or whatever. And Everybody. apparently, Everybody like, smoke is coming every time they pour holy water. We are the God, girl. Demons start I begging. You, Satan. In the name of you. Ah. And this is when God takes over or something. (laughs) Sunrise, you know, hope. I've edited this because in between this, you were seeing the kids manifest in the hospital and stuff, and it was very bloody and stuff, so I removed that. Uh, You see the hissing the face all the special effects of course this is like this is like the scariest moment so (laughs) yeah and then the demon gets kind of sucked into the abyss here Go back to where you came from. I like that part. Okay, anyway, listen, guys. These kind of movies, it's... I just wanted to show you, this is how Hollywood depicts a deliverance. Like, so extremely exaggerated. All because they know if you show an exaggerated version on the screen, then people that see anything less, like how we minister deliverance in our church, and like, they don't catch fire, you know? And so they're like, oh, that's, you guys are just that, you know, we have seen it. And so it's just a desensitizing tool towards it. And it seems as if there's an agenda to always attack the minister of deliverance, even from Hollywood. All right, guys, 
That's the end of today's video. Let me know what you think. Do you watch scary movies? I encourage you not to. It's, it's not good as Christians. It affects your soul. Even though you don't get a demon from it, you know, not every person that watches a scary movie gets a demon. But even if you don't get, when your soul is unsettled, you have to trust that your conscience, the Holy Spirit communicates to you through it. And fear is not our portion. The Bible says God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. God bless you. Until next time, stay in faith.